Unveiling the Hidden Meaning, Mastering Implied Metaphors. Hello, language explorers. Welcome to another exciting episode of our Advanced Vocabulary Series. Today, we are diving deep into the fascinating world of metaphors, more specifically, implied metaphors. You'll walk away from this video with a better understanding of this hidden form of communication and, who knows, maybe you'll start using them in your own conversations. Implied metaphors are a special type of metaphor where the comparison isn't directly stated, it's implied. They paint a more subtle and creative picture in the listener's mind, compared to the direct metaphors. To explain this, let's use a direct metaphor as a starting point. He's a tiger. This directly compares the person to a tiger, suggesting fierceness and strength. An implied metaphor, however, might say, he prowled around the room. The word, prowled, associates with the behavior of a tiger, implying the person is like a tiger, but the comparison isn't explicitly stated. Implied metaphors, like other figures of speech, add richness and depth to your language use. They can make your speech or writing more interesting and engaging, painting vivid mental pictures or conveying complex emotions with just a few words. They also display your mastery of the language and can impress your audience, whether it's a group of friends, a business meeting, or a public speaking event. Now that we know what implied metaphors are and why we use them, let's look at a few more examples. 1. She blossomed under his care. Here, the implied metaphor is that she is a flower. Blossoming indicates that she's thriving or improving. 2. His words cut through the silence. The implied metaphor is that his words are like a knife, able to slice through the quiet. 3. The rumor bubbled up from the depths of the internet. Here, the rumor is like a bubble coming up from the bottom of a body of water, suggesting it started small and insignificant but grew as it surfaced. By using such expressions, you're making the language more colorful and descriptive, which engages your listener or reader even more. Well, that's all for today, language explorers. You've now ventured into the realm of implied metaphors. Remember, language learning is an adventure, and every new figure of speech you learn is like finding a new treasure. We hope this video has given you a good understanding of implied metaphors and that you'll start using them in your English conversations. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and as always, have fun with English.